Good morning, good morning. It's been a while since I made a video. Here we are in beautiful San Ignacio. And today is unfortunately our last day here in San Ignacio. We're moving on to a new place. Right now we are waiting for a taxi driver to come get us, our good friend Gabriel. I'll introduce you guys to him here in a little bit. This is the street we've been staying on. As you've seen in the last video, we are at Ella's place right here, beautiful Airbnb. I'll link the details down in the description. Haven't filmed the video in the past couple days. We had a soldier down due to a little bit of food poisoning. Weather wasn't too great, but we did go check out Zunantinich Mayan ruins. I think Cahill Mayan ruins it's called. They were absolutely beautiful. I definitely do suggest you go check out those Mayan ruins while you're here in San Ignacio. And um, also went to the number one market here in San Ignacio, which is the San Ignacio market in the center of town. It was very beautiful. There were so many vendors, so many clothes, so much food. Um, I had a cheese pupusa for breakfast. It was excellent. This is my view right now. This is what you'll be greeted to. Beautiful, beautiful sights, sounds here in San Ignacio. This is early morning. It's about 8 a.m. And um, like I said, we are just waiting for a taxi driver to come, our good friend Gabriel. He's been helping us out while we've been here in um, San Ignacio, bringing us to places, giving us good information. He's actually a certified tour guide. So like I said, I'll introduce you guys to him here in a little bit. And what we are going to do today, today's Sunday, we were going to take a local bus all the way to Belize City. Last Sunday, we traveled from Hopkins Village to, um, we traveled from Hopkins Village to here in San Ignacio and the ride was just absolutely brutal. It took all day. So buses don't run so much on Sundays. So what you're gonna need to do to make your journey faster is you're gonna have to get a cab. And that's what we did, paid 100 USD to go from San Ignacio to Belize City. That's about a two hour ride and he's gonna bring us right to the water taxi. From the water taxi, we're gonna go to Key Cocker. So let's enjoy this day. Finally, we're having beautiful weather. I'm very excited in Key Cocker. We're gonna do many adventures, many things. So I'll be sure to keep you guys updated with that. The trip's only been short. It's only been about 12 days, but it's okay. I've been having a good time here in Belize. The people are wonderful and the food is excellent. So. Let's carry on, and I'll see you guys here in a little bit when we get with Gabriel. Entering Belize City. Well, we've been here for a little bit, but we just took about a two-hour ride from San Ignacio here to Belize, thanks to our good man Gabriel. I said I was going to introduce him earlier, but we had such a good time driving, such a good conversation. I, I didn't record, so here we are now. Gabriel, hello. Hi, tell, hello. Tell the people your name. My name is Gabriel, and I'm here from Belize. Yes, and we're driving into the city right now. Yes, and Gabriel yeah. is very, very helpful. Um, he gave us a lot of advice on what we should, what we shouldn't do, and things like that. And he's also a tour guide here in San Ignacio. He'll show his credentials. <laughs> How long you been a tour guide for? I have 12 years as a taxi driver and licensed tour guide. Yeah. This is my tour guide license. And then this is my taxi license. Yeah, yeah. everything's legit. Uh, we, we came in here uh, like a couple days ago. We met him downtown. We kept bothering him the whole time. Were we bugging you at uh, all? Well, I said, yeah, keep bugging me more. <laughs> That's what I love. Yeah, we kept... When you're on vacation, I'm on vacation too. <laughs> we, yeah. kept, we kept blowing up his phone. I was like, yo, can you bring us here? Can you bring us there? But fortunately, he pulled through. Like I told you guys earlier, we were going to take the bus today, but... You know, Gabriel, our good man, gave us a good suggestion. And now it's about 10 a.m. still. We're, we're making good time. We're gonna make the boat. It's an absolute beautiful day outside. So thanks to Gabriel. I'm gonna put his details down. Uh, the, I can put your WhatsApp. Yes, you can put my WhatsApp, you have my details. All right, I'll put his WhatsApp uh, down in the description below. And if you guys come to San Ignacio, make sure you hit him up. He'll take you on tours. He has a property he could take you on. He does night hikes. He's very, very knowledgeable. So thank you very much, Gabriel. We appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you very much. And guys, come to Belize and mostly come to San Ignacio, the number one best place 
in the whole country of Belize. That's very yeah. true. Yeah, San Ignacio is beautiful. So we're going to carry on with this ride. We should be pulling up to the water taxi here pretty soon. How long would you say, sir? Uh, we got about 15 minutes 15 away. 15 minutes? All right, not bad. So we yeah. got about 15 minutes, and uh, I think we won't catch the first one. We'll probably catch the 12 o'clock one, but it's no issue. We made it here, and uh, that's all we could hope for safely, too. So the ride was beautiful. You guys, whenever you take any ride in Belize, I was telling Gabriel up here, it's like a scenic route. Like, everything is just absolutely beautiful. So let's continue on, and uh, we'll see you guys at the water taxi station. Arrived at the water taxi station. We're gonna get our tickets right here. Thank you. And uh, we'll book them right here. And I'll update you guys after. Hello. You wanna be on camera? What's your name? My name is Jennifer. Jennifer, hello, how are you? I'm good and you? I'm doing I'm doing good. Where are you guys going to? Um to Key Cocker. One way around trip. Um can I have a round trip please? Sure. How long have you been working here for? Um this month has been like three months. Three months? Yeah. Okay, and you're from Belize City? Um I'm from a village called Ladyville. Ladyville? How far is that from here? Uh, no, we came from, uh, well, we went to Hopkins, and then we just came from San Ignacio. Oh, you guys are going to the airport. I'm from right where the airport is. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Right, can I have your first and last name, please? Yeah, my first name, actually. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we got the tickets. I thought if you buy two round-trip tickets, uh, it's 70 bucks, and the return time is whenever you want. I thought we had to give her a specific return time, but she said it was good to go. Apparently the boat is about to leave here in a second, so I'm speeding up, speeding up, and we'll get there. But yeah, she said it should be like a 45 minute ride to like an hour ride, so we'll hop on here and see what's good. Are they gonna leave us? No? Yeah. Hello. They were gonna leave us. How are you, sir? All right. Oh, okay. sorry. All right. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. All right, this is the boat right here. I feel uh, like we're late to the party or something, but it's okay. Hello, how are you? Good, buddy. Good? Good ride, guys. Thank you, thank you. Good? All right, so now we'll find somewhere to sit. I'm gonna come over here, show you guys the boat once we get some proper seating. Come right over here. Hello? All right, you good right here? All right. Ugh. I'm gonna put this bag right under here. So that way it doesn't slide anywhere. But it's not too many people, it's not, it's not fully packed, so it's good to go. Like I said, 45 minute ride to about an hour. And uh, I don't know, once we get there, I don't think we could check into the Airbnb quite yet. So we'll probably, maybe I might change over, go to the beach, jump in the water. Hopefully the weather stays nice. We had a good ride all the way here from San Ignacio, so. Whew, how you feeling? Feel good? Yeah, now she's excited. Goes to the beach, feels good. You got your life vest up here. Maybe no bathroom, but that's okay, quick ride, so. Let's go. I can't wait to get to the island. It's gonna be pretty fun. I'm gonna explore. As soon as we get there. It seems right now we're pulling up to our stop. We're gonna get off. I don't know if we're gonna take a taxi or a golf cart to our Airbnb if we're gonna walk. I think we're gonna walk. Best bet is to walk. That's how you get the best lay of the land. So right now we're coming in. It was a quick ride. It wasn't bad at all. Had to close the window right here. The water was splashing up, but check out this view. Crystal clear water. Reminds me of the Keys or her of the Keys. <laughs> she feels like she's home now. So let's get off. Let's get off this water taxi and see about our way. I feel uh, like I'm out of place. I got my suitcase walking around. Could have took a taxi, but figured I wanted to walk around, even though I'm probably gonna do the same thing after I drop this stuff off since we can't check in. And I have to change 
my clothes. So that way maybe we can go down to the water or something like that. All the way at the end here, it's about like a 13 minute walk, which really is not that bad compared to where we just came from, going up all those hills and things like that. So this is just, this is minor, this is mediocre. But so far, it's nice, good weather. Ready to go. I'll give you guys a quick tour of the room. First of all, I'll show you the outside. Very nice, this guest house is awesome. I believe this is a guest house right here. The host lives right above us. Um, there's like a bar in the front over there. You can take, a, you could take a, the bike, make sure you take the bike lock. There's also a couple living in the front with two dogs and the dogs are very, very nice. So this is the inside. You have your AC, your fan, bed, excuse the mess. Wonderful bathroom, everything is super clean. He actually gave us water. Such a kind Airbnb host. Your cooking station right here, couch, and let's carry on to the outside. And uh, I will take you guys over to the water right over there. He says that we are able to chill over there. So I'm pretty excited about that. We can walk through this gate right here. He says those guys in the blue house are his neighbor. So <clears throat> we're gonna walk through this gate over here once Ness gets the door locked. You okay, Ness? Yep, yep, got it. She's surviving. <laughs> She has, she has trouble opening and closing locks. Yeah, Because they, they spend so much. I'm breaking a cardinal rule. I'm wearing shoes with my socks to the beach. We have to make sure this gate is closed so the dogs don't get through here. But yeah, crucial, crucial. Socks, shoes to the beach, probably a no-go. So we'll walk right through here. The boat ride over here was so nice. It was beautiful. We'll come out here to this water. I think we should go chill over there for a little bit. Okay. Maybe hang out, see what's going on. Beautiful walk, hello. So nice outside. Let's see if we can get through here. Oh, maybe this gate right here. So that way we don't open the whole big gate. Maybe he uses that to bring in boats or something of the sort. I like this little lock system. We'll come through here. We'll close it back up. Ugh. Here. Gotta get the gate through. There we go. Okay. Come. Wow. Super nice over here. This sort of reminds me of when we were in Spain. In, uh, where did we go? Mallorca? Yeah, no, no, not Mallorca. Malaga? Yeah, Ma no, 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 Mallorca, Mallorca. Sort of reminds me of like a Mallorca vibe right here. This is absolutely nice. You got Anchorage Resort right here. Uh, I think we're gonna go sit out on this little beachway over here. Or excuse me, this, uh, what would you, uh, what is this, a dock? dock? We're gonna go sit on this dock over here. This is, this is Ness, this is Ness's stomping ground right here. I'm not, uh, she's from the Keys. You know, she likes the water, she likes fishing and doing all this type of stuff. So I just come, go to the beach, go to the ocean, swim and leave. But this is her domain. You like? I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got jet skis out here. This is beautiful. And I think uh, we were told um, by the Airbnb guests, we can actually walk up this beach all the way. It'll take about 20 minutes to get to the split. So, you know, that's nice to know as well. Oh, guests only, yeah. Seems like we gotta go to this one over here. So we'll come onto this dock or should we just post up on the beach right here? Yeah. yeah? All right, we're gonna post up on the beach right here and uh, we're gonna figure out our next move. I think we're gonna go get something to eat. So once we make that move, I'll be sure to check in with you guys and show you this beautiful walkway right up here on the beach on the coast of Key Cocker walking up towards the split. I think we might go get some food that way, so. See you guys here in a second. It's one thing you'll notice about Belize, they care a lot, a lot about their country, which is very good. A lot of conservationists, you know, places to throw your trash, people reminding people to be, you know, mindful of those things. Check out the water. This is so nice. 
We're just taking a stroll along the beach path right now. You can walk this beach path apparently around the whole island or at least here on the south side of the island. Um, you can walk it all the way up. So we're gonna take the beach path instead of taking the main street. And then we're gonna go to, I don't know, Chef. You see all over TikTok, all over Instagram, all over social media. Over here, guess Chef Kareem. We're gonna go see what it's about. Maybe get some uh, seafood. I don't eat much seafood, but here I will. And you? Yeah, me too. Yeah, you're gonna get seafood nuts. Because it's fresh. Yeah, here is Back super home, fresh. It's not the same. This is this is very, very nice. This is key cocker for you guys. I wonder what it's gonna be like at nighttime. I think at nighttime we should yeah. come outside. We're definitely gonna come outside and Go we're gonna walk the strip, see what's going on. Again on social media I've seen a few places that um are pretty lively, you, I guess you could say. Hello. Hi. 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 And um, so yeah, maybe we'll go check them out. I don't know. We're not like much partiers, but we'll definitely go and check out a good scene, see what's going on. A lot, a lot of hotels, a lot of guest houses and things like that. Hmm? So. Very nice place to eat, yeah. I think we were told about this restaurant from uh, our host, the Magic Grill. There's plenty of tours you can go on as well. Um, you can check them up online or you can even just walk the coastline and you'll see a bunch of places that are uh, promoting their tours and things like that. So no need to be worried about buying tickets in advance. But I think one thing you should do in advance is at least alert the tour company that you wanna go on a tour and see if um, it's available. I know for ours, Specifically, um, we're gonna go like swim with nurse nurse sharks and uh, They just tell you to pay when you get there, but to email them in advance So that way they know you're coming through you got people fishing on the pier over here in the morning I think I'm definitely gonna go in for a jump off the pier and a nice dip like a like a cold plunge early in the morning. I love the palm trees This is such a better vibe than where we came from. Although Hopkins Village was absolutely beautiful. San Ignacio is beautiful, obviously in their own respect. But when you come to the island, it just gives you a different feel. You know, you feel, you feel good. The water makes you happy. At least crystal clear blue water like this makes me happy. I can't wait to go swimming in there. But only after we get some food. My stomach is absolutely torn to bits right now. So we haven't eaten all day. Started the journey off at eight. Hello. Started the journey off at eight this morning, and uh, right now it's only noon, so not not too bad. But wow, walking through here, you get your head whacked. I'm not sure if the path continues on. Shall we go on the road or continue straight? What would you like to do? Okay, we'll head towards the road. Watch your step. I think it's located at the end of here. Can't wait to eat so hungry this island is very nice and there's not too many people here either there's not too many people here at this time on the island i'm not sure if this is low season for this island anyway or if it's even the same as belize if the low season and the high season is the same which i'm assuming it would be but this looks like the main maybe downtown district this is towards maybe the north end of the south end of the island if you understand what i'm saying so we're going more towards the split right now basically is what i'm trying to tell you guys we have the key cocker animal shelter over here as far as my first impressions it's absolutely beautiful i'm glad we came on a day where it's sunny there's people outside and i might have i might have spoke too soon i might have to bite my words because there's a few people up here at the split then again what is today Today's Sunday, so it is the weekend. You got your golf carts going around, taxi cabs. I've noticed one thing, I've noticed that there's a lot of people here from Canada. A lot of people from Canada. So, all you Canadians coming down like snowbirds. Actually, that's what our cab driver told us. He said that some people he notices are like snowbirds, which if you don't know what a snowbird is, is in the winter time in the north of the United States of America, it gets very cold 
So what those people do is they migrate down south, whether to it's Miami, the Bahamas, even places like Belize. So come down here and this is what you will see. We'll get out of the way right here. So we have cabs, you need to be aware, front and back. You have your taxi carts coming, excuse me, your golf carts. I was told uh, on the north side of Key Cocker as well, they're doing a lot of um, construction. So they're trying to build that area up as well with like hotels, guest houses, restaurants. I think over there right now, there's four like running restaurants like that are open. Oh, our tour is leaving from right here, yeah? Okay. So we will come here in a couple days and I'll show you guys us swimming with the sharks. I have a feeling right now, like the place that we're going to, might be super booked up. Like there might be a lot of people there. Just busy, busy, busy. So I don't know, we're gonna see. Like I said, it's the weekend. People are outside enjoying themselves. And when you come here, you can also rent a, uh, you can rent a golf cart. I'm not exactly sure how much it is, but yo, walking, it's good for the soul. Get in those miles, get your cardio going. It's no problem. Plus Key Cocker is very small. You can walk around anywhere within like 20, 25 minutes. So you got the ocean right over here. And then again, the ocean right over here. I think this might be our man that we're coming up on over here. Yeah, Chef Kareem's. I see it right here. We'll see what's going on. There's a few people outside that cook on the grill, sell. So when you come here, you have options that you can go to. You ready? Let's check out what Chef Cream got going. It seems like this is the seating back here. Hopefully we can get a spot. Hello. We'll see what's going on. This looks like the menu right here. You got barbecue or jerk, pork ribs, snapper, whole lobster. Hello, how you doing? Bless the man, Chef Kareem, unbelievable lunch. Oh, Chef Kareem right here in the flesh. Chef Kareem, now this is Chef Kareem Oh, this is Chef, oh, this Chef in Kareem in the flesh. Yeah. Um, can we just take a seat or do we order here and then go? Ada with Chef Kareem. Okay. All right, so we'll order here. And then uh, I think I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the jerk. Let me take the jerk chicken. I love jerk chicken. So we got the grill right here going down smells smells good too we'll take a uh, one shrimp kebab and one jerk chicken yeah. going down it smells so good got that got that coal burning lobster coming off garlic butter you have, you have cash right now i'm gonna get you my brother okay no problem mine's in my bag yeah yeah mine's yeah i got it oh pay a man okay thank you bro how long you been here for i've been here on this spot for nine years now nine years yeah okay yeah i see this guy all over social media so we had to come check you out I'm not sure where we're going to sit. We'll figure it out here in a second. Maybe in the back over there by the water. Nice, under the shade. It's going to feel good. Yeah, unbelievable. Check it out, buddy. Yeah, yeah, we had to come check them out. Check out the grill right here. Check out that lobster. just got cut. Everything right there just got cut this morning, about 9.30 this morning. 9.30? Just got cut. Everything fresh? That's my vessel out there. Okay. In the front, we go out in the morning. We catch fresh stuff. Everything you eat is Chef Kareem. Very fresh and nice, my brother. Yeah. Unbelievable came to, lunch. Unbelievable lunch. We came to check them out. It's the first thing we're having. We've been hungry all day, so we're definitely going to max out. Yeah, Chef check out the plate. Up. That's what you're going to have. Chef <laughs> unbelievable. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Yeah, everyone here, the split is just right over here. Maybe we're definitely going to have to go check that out after we eat here, so for sure. I might even grab a sausage as well, if that's yeah. possible. It's good. I'm gonna taste. taste right here. I'm only gonna have a couple pieces because I got mine coming, but seasoned very well. I love that char grill taste. Mm. Get that tomato with that onion, that pepper. Ooh, 
But I won't destroy the whole thing because it's nice. And I got mine coming. And it's gonna be just as good. Oh, well, look at the time. Yeah, that's the time. Rice and, rice and peas or beans. Yeah, yeah. Oof. No. It's a hit every time. This is the vibe right now. I think we got some activity going on over here. I see a lot of people walking down over towards the split. I'm not sure if it's like a big party area, big event going on. I'm not sure, but we're going to walk over there and see here in a second. So I think we got mine coming up here. Let's check it out. Mm. The sauce that's over it, perfect jerk. It's not too spicy. It's a good tang. A little spice, a little kick, but not much. Mm. Thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy this, and then we're gonna continue on. I'll give him my card here in a second to my channel i didn't give him my channel name i just gave him my real name he's got this lobster fresh out looks good okay <laughs> this is the area that you can sit at you could sit right back here if you want to sit back here again he comes fishing from over there everywhere you can just hang out re realistically so what we're going to do now is i think we're going to walk towards the split we're going to see exactly what's happening over there hello Nice. <laughs> How are you? I'm my best. What's your name? Muffin. What's the best thing about Key Cocker? Why the should people come to Key Cocker? All right. The best thing about Key Cocker is, let me tell you this, is how we get ourselves together in the food aspect and things like that. But the foremost of it that uh, you might understand about Key Cocker is that it's a small village as well, but people love it because of the people aspect, the manner of Yeah. And all things like that. Okay. Like for you just came to see Kikaka. Yeah. You know, it's awesome, marvelous, beautiful. Okay, thank you very much. And God bless you. Have a good day. Yes, <laughs> all right, so you heard the man. The people here are very hospitable. You come to Kikaka, he says everyone loves Kikaka. I think homie was drunk, realistically. Yeah. I smelt that lick on his breath. But it's all right. So like we're like I said, we're gonna head towards the split. We don't judge anybody on this channel, but we're gonna head towards the split. We're gonna see what's going on. I wonder where the locals live on this island. If I could get there, that would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, we gotta watch out behind us. I want to see exactly where the locals live. You got your you got your beans over there <laughs> on the grill, heating up. Again, you can rent golf carts when you come here. Do you want to go across the split or do you want to walk around and just see what's going on? Let's just walk around and see. Over here, over here is that restaurant that you can sit in the water mm -hmm. and you can eat at. It looks like maybe down this alleyway, we'll see some beaches. We can get a nice little beachfront. We're realistically just trying to post up and chill. We got the two beach towels in the back and we're trying to just put them out and lay up. So this right here is the split, which was caused by the hurricane, I believe, in the 60s. And that's actually what split the whole island. And again, that's actually what moved the capital from Belize City to Belmopan. So that hurricane, I think, caused a lot of havoc over here. Can't take my soda. Oh, can't take your soda over there. Maybe you'll have to throw it in here before we go across. If you can see the water over there is very, very blue. I'm not sure if my camera does it justice. But this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the split. We'll try to get that thumbnail. Absolutely beautiful. The weather's been cooperating today. It hasn't been bad. So let's just hope it stays that way. So if you want to ride to the split, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here. And I guess apparently you can hop on this thing and it takes you over. I thought it was over there, but it would make sense why it's right here. And there's also some boats over here. I'm not sure if those are the same thing. Hello. Hello. Is it free to go to the split? Uh, it's five dollars please a person. Five Belize a person? Ah. What's your name? Good. How are you doing today? Good. Doing good. Is there a lot of people over there right now? 
Not a lot. But how about uh, tourists or people just hanging out over there? <laughs> huh? Who? The best on TikTok? Let's get it the best on YouTube. What's your name? YouTube, I got the baddest on YouTube, okay? Yeah? They got a guy that came here and beat up us all over the world now. Was it Ace? Left the man. Yeah. Got it right. Yeah. He's my man. Yeah, Ace was here. <laughs> so what up? Big up Ace. <laughs> take him all around here. Yeah. You know what's going on. Yeah. You know my name too. Yeah, this is the split right here. And a hurricane caused this, right? Yeah. This is super nice. The water is beautiful. It says strong current. Obviously, you can't swim right here, so. Gonna upgrade the ferry? I wanna take one golf cart around with Nace all around here. Oh, okay. But next, we're gonna have a double decker. Double decker. Okay, upstairs, and we're gonna take four golf carts inside. We're gonna have his own bathroom too. We kind of know we have competition. So this one takes bikes? Golf cart and bicycle. Golf cart and bike. Yeah. Okay. Nice. How long you guys been in business? Right here permanent, um, four years, going to five years. Five years? For nine years on demand. Okay. On side, I live on the north side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you guys need a ride over to the split, you come here, split to split. Hey, wait, wait, let me show you something. Originally, I come and have competition. Yeah. So I'm upgrading my ferry, making a bigger, bigger stein. Yeah. And this is one of the ferries. So we'll go here. All right, check it out. Oh. You're gonna see an arrow that say original. This is the new logo right here. Oh, original split. Okay, the original split ferry. All right, cut these guys over there, man. Split ferry on those, so they have problem now with this, um, this competition here. Ah, okay, so okay. We're wicked, cause we have our own map too of the north side here. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Our own map, what all they have on that side. So this is the map right here of the north side. And next year we're gonna have a next one, bigger one. Bigger one? Yeah. So this one right here, the map. So this whole north side, you guys, is going to be completely developed. Whole bunch of stuff going on. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. We might we might come back. We're definitely going to go across at some point. So we're just touring right now. Yeah, enjoy. Have fun. Thank you very much. Okay, so you guys heard it from him first. They're going to have a new uh, ferry here in a little bit and a new sign. So if you need to come or if you need to cross the split, if you come to Key Calker, make sure you look for the big arrow sign that he just put up. That guy was very nice. People are super hospitable here on the island. I think it's that Caribbean vibe. I keep saying that, but it's gotta be true, you guys. Okay, looks like we've just stumbled upon a local soccer match. Didn't intend to come here, but here we are. Or do you guys call it, you, you from here? Is this soccer or football? What do you guys call it, soccer? Football. football? All right. All right, so football, here we are. <laughs> Need to get corrected. All my UK friends always correct me. So damn. I guess this is like a local part of the island right here. Everyone just post up. I'm gonna stay right here for a second. Everyone just post up over here. Looks like you got the teams over there on the side. I didn't think, I wonder how many locals live here on the island. I can't imagine much. But man, this would be a place to grow up, wouldn't it? Jeez, right on the island, right on Key Calker. Let's continue on this way, see what we have. Like I said, the island's very small, so walking around is, is not too bad. Like, if we wanna go back to our other spot, it'll only be a 10 minute walk. But as you've seen, this is a local football match. So they don't call it soccer over here. Actually, when I walked away, I heard the girl laughing at me. <laughs> She's probably like, this dumb foreigner. But I wanna come over here, I wanna see if there's a little secret beach and not the secret beach that's on San Pedro. Secret beach over here on Key Calker. The weather's beautiful, the weather's not bad at all. So we just had ice cream from this uh, homemade ice cream place, it was excellent. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good, for sure. Now we are at this beautiful location. We are gonna sit here for a little bit, but I just noticed something very interesting right behind me. Whenever you're traveling, I know it's hard to keep in shape and to uh, keep your female figure 
or male-ish figure, whichever you prefer. I found a gym right here on Key Calker, right here on the beach. It's very nice. They have all the equipment you need. Got some people over here working out already as is. Got your weights over here. Seems like they're probably the wooden weights. I've never worked out with any of those before, but would be interesting too while I'm here. You got your you got your bench over here. Oh no, actually, looks like your dip bar. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Having a good workout? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Oh, okay. Enjoy. So, yeah. But right here is the beach, or excuse me, the gym right here on Key Cocker. So very nice, very nice. First impressions, man. This place is absolutely beautiful. Like, check this out. This is paradise. At least on a nice day when it's when it's looking nice out. You know what I mean? Good weather. Good vibes, good music, good food, good people. So I'm gonna check out from here. I appreciate you guys joining the video. San Ignacio to Key Calker. Wow, very nice. We took the cab, cost 100 USD. He brought us into Belize City. We hopped on the uh, Express, the Key or Belize Express, I believe, Key Calker Express. Actually, water taxi right over there. It cost $70 for two tickets round trip. So, this is where we will be for the next few days. I'll see you guys on the next one, here from Key Calker.